with Kentucky Blue in the feature of the day, the Mora Toyota Mora Cup over 1,800 metres. There we have it. They've begun the loading process. Here's Alex Vlahos for the call of the feature at Mora. Dropped everyone's jaw in that previous event. Right to Legacy still to come up. The richest race or equal richest race ever run here at Mora. Big crowd on course. Lovely conditions for Cup Day. Still waiting on Butterly Lad. You'd think he'd be improved. Second run under the care of Darren Pateman. Unfortunately, Zeph and Johnston Porter off his rides today due to that ankle injury. And uh, Butterly Lad, as a result, is now ridden by Christo Sardellic. So just awaiting on Ombudsman, Hafey and Regal City, the top weight from the Ashmaley Yard. Back with Ash after racing with Zach Tyler up in Carnarvon for a couple of seasons. Has the top weight, fourth in the Carnarvon Cup. Great scenes of Mora on the 7 Plus app and Sky Racing. We're about uh, two hours northeast of Perth here. A beautiful setting. The Valley Field in the infield. Regal City about to come forward. And complete the line. Who leads here? Kentucky Blue, you'd expect to go forward. Regal City likewise. Set to go in the cup. Ready? No, in fact, just an issue with Regal City along the inside. Brought back forward now for Amy Jo Hayes, looking for her first WA winner, the Irish Apprentice. Now we're right, and we are racing in the Cup for 2024. Regal City began fast, as did Kentucky Blue. Going forward, Hafey's there in the centre, smoking barrel along the inside. Out deeper, Buddley Lad, and the deepest of them is Jack in the black as they run past the judge for the first time. Further back, smoking barrel, Roch Legacy second last, and Ombudsman, the 10-year-old, is last of all. But Bennett now takes Kentucky Blue to the top, leads from in second, and just getting on heels, it seemed for a moment or two, there was Regal City. Third, the inside is Hafey, covered up by Butterly Lad. Further back in the field, we have Smoking Barrel from... Third to last is Jack in the black. A couple of lengths back in turn. Second last to the favourite, Roch Legacy. And Obmansman is last of all. They run down the back of the circuit, almost halfway home in the Cup for 2024. Kentucky Blue, a huge winner in the Cup at Mount Magnet last time out. Steering the ship here is Bennett with it. Leads by a length on Regal City, the top weight. Third then is Butterly Lad surrounding on the inner rail there, Hafey. A length back to Smoking Barrel, Roch Legacy. Deeper looking to get going as is Ombudsman. And Jack in the black is last of all, but it's Kentucky Blue leading now by three quarters. Regal City's just inching closer under heavy pressure. Is Butterly Lad Hafey underneath of it? Roch Legacy and out wider Ombudsman make their run. Smoking Barrels only two lengths off the lead and Jack in the Black is last. Kentucky Blue looks to be gone. Regal City takes over. Moving up to challenge it is Roch Legacy now only ahead away the favourite. A length back then to Ombudsman. Hafey in between runners. Kentucky Blue and Smoking Barrel are next. About to run for home in the Mora Cup and about to take over now is Roch Legacy. Roch Legacy puts half a length on Regal City, who is battling back. Hafey on the scene, starting to peer strongly down the centre. It's Roch Legacy, though. Hafey finishing on. Roch Legacy with a length on Hafey. And Roch Legacy is going to win. Back-to-back -back Mora Cup for Justine Erklands. Defeats Hafey in Regal City was third. Then Smoking Barrel. Further back, we had Ombudsman Jack in the black, Kentucky Blue. And Ombudsman was last of all. Uh, sorry, Butterly Lab was last of all. Number five, Roch Legacy, Kiriul, Justine Erkelins. An impressive performance. Kira got going at about the 800 metre mark. And it's finished too strongly. Hafey was given a nice trip by Galani just off the pace. Was there at the right time. But couldn't finish on over the top of Roch Legacy. And Regal City runs third. Battled on well after settling just off the pace. Number five, Roch Legacy takes out the Mora Toyota Mora Cup for 2024. Justine won the cup with Asymmetric last year. She